Some of the best solutions to our modern day problems require a little recycling of old ideas. When it comes to the agony of traffic congestion, few cities in the world are immune. So it's fitting that a country known for its revolutions is hoping to start a new one in transportation. And the spin-off is set to hit Canada. Global National Stuart Greer with News Understood tonight. It's the latest revolution on the streets of Paris, and this one comes on two wheels. The number of peddling Parisians has almost doubled in the last six months. The reason, a new citywide bike rental network called Vélib, translated that's short for bicycle freedom. It's great and uh, I can go everywhere at night when there's no subway anymore. It's fantastic. Yeah. And here's how it works. Go to any of the 700 bike points in the city and insert a credit card. It takes a $200 deposit that you get back when you return the bike. And once you're assigned a number, you release the bike and you're on your way. Quick, cheap and easy. And a good way to meet people too. You can take as many rides as you want for just $1.50 a day, as long as each journey is less than a half an hour. It charges you extra after that. With a rental point about every four blocks, the idea is to use Vélib for short trips. Paris is hoping it will ease gridlock on the roads. The car traffic in Paris is already too, too, uh, too strong, too, too, uh, too heavy. Naturally, being French, though, means a laissez-faire attitude towards safety. Helmets are optional, and it seems the rules of the road are too. So, more police on rollerblades and on bikes to remind Parisians how to be responsible cyclists. There are a few glitches, too. You can get stuck with a flat tire, and returning a bike it can take some time if there are no free stands at a station. Some 200 bikes have also been stolen because they weren't locked up properly. Despite a few growing pains, Vélib has proven massively popular here, and it's grabbed the attention of some Canadian cities. Toronto's transit boss visited last week, and Montreal has announced it will launch its own rental bike program next fall. Hopefully, uh, it'll take off in Montreal as it has in Europe. So, move over cars and watch out buses. The two-wheel transit system has arrived, and it's turning the urban commute into a joyride. Stuart Greer, Global News, Paris.